Good morning. Before we begin today's Mass, we'll be reciting the prayer, Living Our Faith, Building Our Future. Almighty God, throughout the ages, you have moved your faithful people to build houses of prayer and praise, setting apart a sanctuary for the ministry of the Word and Sacrament. Guided by a divine gift of your eternal wisdom, grant that our undertaking of the construction of Holy Trinity Catholic Church be for your glory and for our own spiritual well-being. And by your grace, may it progress day by day to its successful completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Welcome to this celebration of the Mass of the Solemnity of the Holy Trinity. Blessed be the triune Godhead, on divided unity. Let us evermore be thankful. God has blessed us bounteously. Lord our God and mighty Savior, how majestic is your name. You are at your splendid glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is the Solemnity of Holy Trinity Sunday, which is our parish feast day, our name day, as Holy Trinity. And as the Trinity is a communion of love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we too gathered into the life of the Trinity by Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit are called to live that same love, recognizing that there are times we may not live in that love and according to it. We prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in the cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. The Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. in your heart, down your lips, and you're worthy of all, proclaim this holy gospel, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, after four months of COVID-19, necessary church and mass closings, financial and political turmoil, in worldwide racial demonstrations, many attended by wholesale street rioting, we thankfully have arrived at Trinity Sunday. Thank God, the power of this great feast of the Trinity, our true end for all of us at the end of time, may and most likely will bring all of us peace and closure to this so far tumultuous events that have led up to this point and been the story of this year, 2020. I think the way, for example, that street protests are resolving right now, peacefully and positively, are a sign to us of God's hand at work in us, in our heads and in our hearts. Of all the great celebrations of the church, Christmas, Easter, in Pentecost, all of them, Trinity Sunday is the only feast that celebrates a dogma, the dogma of the Holy Trinity, instead of a historical fact that all happened in real time. This is because that which we celebrate today, the culmination of all beings in creation itself, in union perfectly with the life of the Holy Trinity, has not happened yet. It is in the process of happening and is ongoing, but is not and will not be complete ever until all scores are settled, all wrongs have been righted, every tear has been wiped away, and all will be perfect in union with God the Father, Jesus the Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, the love between them, and our share and ticket of entry into that wondrous and blissful existence. In our lives, this joy of fulfillment 
And perfect bliss is what we get up for, is what we work for every day, maybe not even being aware of it or not even knowing it. Like the great migrating herds, they come and they go, and they go and they come, they don't know why. We get up and we go out, and we come in and go to bed. Maybe we don't know why, but this is why. By loving God to our best, loving and caring for our wives and children, if we are married, the very best we can, or if we're single, the love and care we give to our families, our friends, and those at our work, whatever that may be, leads us to be involved with. This is the work of this Catholic Church. And this work is to be all in, no half measures, no short cheating, no self-serving shortcuts or personal agendas of glory and honor for us. No, by the nature of our baptism into Christ's life, we are to be all in and to make up for Christ what he could not get done while he was here for his short 33 years. Bishop Bob Barron made a great point the other day in one of his many talks that, yes, Jesus fed the 5,000 with five little loaves and two fish, miraculously. Monsignor Hood's picks, which he had commissioned back when he was ordained, he had a great devotion to this miracle, and he had engraved on the cover of the picks, it's a rather large picks, he had the two fish and the little five loaves. They looked like biscuits. Monsignor said, well, that's what they looked like back then. <laughs> he was pretty specific. <laughs> At any rate, uh, he had a great, great devotion to that miracle. And as great a miracle as it was, Bishop Barron states that through the Holy Spirit, Mother Teresa and her order have fed millions more of the needy than Jesus ever had or did have the chance to do. And that same Holy Spirit is at once our power, the source of our abilities to work as his church, and our personal connection to this vibrant, all-powerful life of God that fired the saints at every age and time and is ours for the asking through prayer anytime, anywhere, and in every circumstance. Watching the media and doing all the turmoil of our times is burdensome, it's confusing, and it's opprobrious to our human hearts. Well, why do you think Christ spent so much time himself in prayer while he was here? Like Christ or any of his saints in any age or time, we too need to steep ourselves deeply in prayer and take that life-giving silence and time out to draw of our Godhead the Holy Trinity, and bask in the love that he gives us, and to fill us with a solid resolve to daily push aggressively forward to that final omega point in time when our feast of the Holy Trinity is no longer a dogma, but the final fact of existence itself. May God bless all of us in getting there. Amen. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate the mystery of the Holy Trinity, let us bring our prayers before the Lord. For the church, drawn from all nations and languages, may our triune God guide and sustain us. As we proclaim the good news of the kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all civil power and authority, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in their hearts. For servant leadership, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those enduring trials and challenges in this life, may they be uplifted by the loving presence of God and the support and compassion of the community of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to this coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And our desire to restore holy reverence before the most precious gift of your most sacred body and blood, instill in us a more fervent love for and perpetual adoration of your real presence in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Holy Trinity Parish, that we may be guided by your divine providence in building that new sanctuary for the praise and glory of the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may they take their place at the eternal feast in the kingdom of God. And for the intentions of this Mass, Bill and Rick Thoma, Jean and Linda Anderson, and our parish family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers now that we all hold silently in our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Together we offer our vocations prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your Spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will we, we ask, ask this, this through Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Stand in one. 
wonder while earth your glory sings. O most holy Trinity, on divided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. O God, the Holy Spirit, who lives within our soul, send forth your light and lead us to our eternal goal. O most holy Trinity, undivided unity, Holy God, mighty God, God immortal, be adored. Wash me all from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Ah, yes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, most merciful Father, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. From a history of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ, that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope and Walker our Bishop and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory and the glory of God, God, God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, and this of the body you of take our Lord Jesus Christ, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, the Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation. But through your loving mercy, be for me protection of mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Sent in 
to your hearts the Spirit of his Son, the Spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Since you are children of God, God has sent into your hearts the Spirit of his Son, the Spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. I invite you to make a prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In celebration of Holy Trinity Sunday, we invite you to go to the parish website and see the latest pictures of the new church. Click on the Building Project tab. And I'll be celebrating a children's mass each Wednesday at 1030 um, in the morning. And we'll also be announcing our vacation Bible school plans next week. All men of the parish are invited to join the men's ministry meeting on Tuesday. For more details, see the bulletin or the parish website. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The friends and families <clears throat> of Holy Trinity Catholic Parish, thank you for joining us this Sunday morning. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass can be heard each Sunday on KVFD 1400 at 8.30 a.m. <laughs> Let's go.